Salson. So where to begin? Um, it's been a crazy pandemic. In the beginning, I thought like I couldn't do the things that I wanted to do or go to the places where I wanted to go. It was a shift from my normal life to this new normal that we had to live with. Uh, but as time went by, I got used to it and I discovered that um, it was a sort of a wake up call for the things that I needed to do, you know, those immediate relationships that I needed to build both with my family and with myself. I learned to spend time um, with myself and actually got to discover new skills and new things that I actually liked and felt like it was a trying time, but it was also good for growth. So that's been my COVID experience. Hello everyone, it's Luca and I come from Italy. During this year of COVID-19, I had to learn what it means uh, to have a very important people in my life or to be a very good friend. So I decided to remove from my life toxic people and surround myself with someone who believes in me for my projects for the future, who is happy for my goals I, I, I achieved, I, that I achieved every day. And um, I just wanted to, to have in my life good vibes because this period, this year has taken a lot from our lives in terms of sad, in terms of happiness and in terms of enjoying in life. So I hope this will help you and uh, I wish you all the best. Hello. Hello, my name is Luke Wilson. I live in Miami, Florida in the United States. So as many people know, um, for quite a while, the United States was the country with the most COVID cases in the entire world, which made um, being from this country and um, being a citizen of this country um, quite interesting. Um, I remember at the worst of COVID, you would see news stories that um, in New York City, there were more ambulances dispatched than on 9-11. But now because of the whole vaccine thing, things have significantly improved. It was very stressful and like scary back then, but th now that I'm fully vaccinated, I'm very happy to be, you know, getting back to normal and um, being able to resume life to a certain extent. Hi, it's Michelle. COVID for me was brutal. Being located in the very province that it is, it started in and being two hours away from the city was so difficult because my restrictions were severe to the extent that I barely could move and do something, or do anything. And COVID made me feel so closed in and so mentally depressed. And though that happened, it also taught me to take some time to myself and assess my mental health and situation and where I am um, in life. And it left me with a sense of stopping time and learning to slow things down and to pay more attention to myself mentally and not be all fast tracked and fast paced in this in this life and always going 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 i'm about to do something okay should i stand further or closer hey <gasps> my name is sharon and i'm a teacher since the start of covid19 i noticed and i felt and I experienced that teachers and students felt that they were not acknowledged, they were not supported when it came to their mental health during this pandemic. I noticed that a lot of um, outlets and media were pointing out how the education system needs to improve and how this pandemic has exposed that. But I didn't find a lot of resources that were supporting teachers and students i'm a high school teacher i teach teenagers and so already it's so difficult for teenagers to just survive being teenagers and so i saw their mental health get challenged i saw my students trying to survive their daily lives and it was not easy as for teachers the reality is that we are pretty much expected to be perfect we are pretty much expected to have our things together but with the pandemic that's not the case we're also facing bad days emotionally and mentally and I want to bring light to that so I decided to do an awareness campaign on the mental health of teachers and students because of my own experience and from watching my own students 
go through challenges and difficult things. I hope you will learn something from this and I hope it will challenge you to also advocate for something in your life. Maybe not necessarily mental health issues, but I do believe that everybody can campaign for something. Oh, you can see! Wait, what's the top of my fridge? Okay, so I hope you guys will join me on this crazy, beautiful journey and you will learn something and hopefully I will also learn something from my participants. Thank you!